Hey there, turn on your speakers. Do you have finals week coming up? Projects due? Homeworks are piling up? Are you freaking out that you're getting boxed in with deadlines? Here's an idea get help. Think Geek Exams. Find us on Facebook, Twitter, or YouTube. So, this is the last problem in this homework. Uh, it's uh, the fifth problem uh, for our statics vectors homework. Uh, in this, there are three forces again, and they're in a 3D system. Uh, let me go to the right page. So, here is three forces uh, acting on point O. So, let me draw it. So, this is our X. Y and Z coordinates, X, Y and Z coordinates. And this is our point O. And then we have F1, F2, and F3. I'm not going to draw those, but uh, F1, we have uh, 17.6 kips as the magnitude. F2 and F3 are given in terms of Cartesian coordinates, so we don't have to worry about those. So let's first type in our F1. Hmm. I lost my position. Okay. So F1 mag equals to 17.6. I'm not going to write units because MATLAB doesn't understand units. Kips. And uh, F1 angles in degrees is given as 76.6, next row 108, next row 22.6. These are in degrees, obviously, and that's what it looks like. So we're going to con convert these into radians. F1 angles in degrees times pi divided by 180. And that's our radians. Next thing we're going to do is F1 unit. And that is easily done by taking our F1 angles and getting the cosine of every single term in that vector and that should give us our F1 unit vector. So F1 now is basically F1 mag times our unit vector. And that should give us the F1 in kips. So that's, that's F1 done. F2, F2 is given as minus 27. I forgot the vector, uh, plus 10j, plus, plus 27, and that's, that's our F2, and finally F3 is 4, 6, and 32, 4, 6, and minus 32. So that's our F, F3. So we have all three uh, vectors. So our resultant f of, uh, vector FR is going to be F1 plus F2 plus F3. And this is our final answer for in the, in the Cartesian vector form. So this is A, answer A. So next thing is we need to find the magnitude of our new vector and that we can calculate by just doing the norm of it and that's 24.4380 in kips and finally we need the uh, direction angles of the of the resultant force so uh, let's find the unit vector for FR FR 
divided by fr magnitude will give me the unit vectors. And those are the cosines of the angles. So let's write out the angles. fr angles, small a, in rad is uh, a cosine f r unit and that's the uh, radians version of it in degrees is fr angles in rad times 180 divided by pi and those are the degrees the first one is from the x-axis, the second one is from the y-axis, and the third one is for the z-axis. So that's answer to C. And finally, D is determine the unit vectors in uh, the directions of each component force as well as the direction of the resultant force. So the first one is F1 unit. We already know that, right? So F2 unit equals to F2 divided by norm F2. And same with F3. And same with FR. Oops. F3, I forgot to do it right. This is F3. And FR unit, we already have that calculated, so I don't need to calculate that again. So let's do let's do a round. F1 unit, F2 unit, F3 unit, and FR unit. F R unit. And those are the four in uh, vector form. So that's the end of the homework. Thank you very much. Come back. Think Geek Exams. Our agents have Masters of Engineering degrees from MIT, Stanford, Georgia Tech, Caltech. We give you solutions to mathematics, physics, computing, and engineering. Find us on Facebook, Twitter, or YouTube.